Okay, a uh, little walk around on the Tesla. We're about to put it up on dollies. He pulled it out from the driveway. Looks like I got a mark right there. Several on the back, there's one on the edge, one right here. This wheel is flat, it's got some little bit on it. These people are going to be mad, they're walking down the hill. I can get, I guess. I probably need to come forward some more. I need to be a little bit closer and push up the test, but I don't know if I'm going to push I just need to know if you'll be able to get the, the breaker bar down. Oh, well, it looks like it's in there far enough. It'd be fine. this back one
going to do another walk around to the Tesla. We have left it in the parking lot like the customer requested. walk around of this room super quick. Spot 30, the sign is do, 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 right there on that pole. Spot. Spot 30. Hey, looks like our car got towed. Uh, what kind of car you got? Mercedes. From spot number 30, yes. Yes, so how we can get it? Um, as long as you're the registered owner, your ID matches the registration of that car, I can release it to you. And it has to be cash, we cannot do credit cards. You know, uh, I don't know how we can do the cash right now. You know, you know, can we do it's a little bit less price? We just don't know, you know, it's like a, we just went for the lunch. We doesn't realize it has to be, you know, uh, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Those are those are the fees. There's there's several ATMs in and around the area that might be able to help out, but those are those are our fees. Okay, that's fine. You know, where where you want me to? Can you bring the car here? I'll bring the cash because I have to go to the ATM to walk. You know, I don't have the car. If you bring the car here, I'll go to the car and get the. You know, to the ATM. No, I'm sorry. The owners have to, they must be picked up from our lot because we have to match registrations and things like that. So, where yeah. is the lot? Where is the lot? Where is the lot? In Sevierville. Well, so, how we can come? You know, now. Yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, how 
we can come now? We don't have, we have the kids, you know, we how we can come there, you know? Um, you'd have to get a cab or an Uber? You have an Uber to come over there? Yes, sir. You know, that's too much cooperation for us, you know? I'm sorry. Unfortunately, those are the, that's the situation. Well, can you give me the address? Uh, yes. I'll try to come there, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mom, did Daddy park the formatic in spot number 30? Yes, son. We're not speaking to Daddy right now. Did you, I can take you before everything auto. Hey, uh, this thing, I think you guys towed our car. What, what kind of car you got? Mercedes. A Mercedes, yes, sir. So, what time are you closing if we're coming tonight to pick the car? Uh, I mean, as long as I know you're headed that way, so I can let you through the gate. We usually don't do after-hour pickups, but if you're if you're telling me, well, you know, you yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming over there. You know, do you know about what time you'll be there? Maybe within half an hour. Okay, yeah, I, I can meet you at the gate in about a half an hour. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, thank you. What's that? I'm sorry. We reached to the Red Bone Way, but your uh, road is very, very zigzag. We are not able to reach over there. It's like a, uh, there's no, nothing there. Is the cabins in the cabins? Uh, I, you, you, maybe you went the wrong direction. You must, uh, you, you may have entered from the top. Um, but I think I see Can your, you, uh, I think I see your headlights. What? You're, you're up at the Can top of the. Was that? You're, yeah, you're up you at, see the headlights? Yeah, I think you're at the top. You you entered the wrong way. You should have came in from the bottom. But you, I, I mean, you can you can still go down that road. It's just that road's a little rough. Oh, you still can go down this road. Yeah, we're we're right down here at the bottom. If you see the lights down here at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, we see the lights. Okay, he says the, there's the lights. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, that's you. We can take the car from there. Yeah, yeah. You no, can no. go down that. Okay, he said you can go down there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. He can see the lights. Okay. Yeah, okay. Keep on going. Okay. Okay. I'll see you just a sec. Man, this is like, like a rough road. I don't know. The cars will, the car will come back. Or you know. No, we didn't come in that way. That's that's he came in the wrong way. That's that's why that road. Yeah, he just said you came the wrong way. Do you think the car will go there that way? The way the road we took it. N no, no. You go back. You go back down the mountain, and it's it's a it's an easier drive. This is a drivable way. The way you seeing us coming. Yeah, I mean, there's there are people travel that every day. Yeah, everybody everybody travels that, but. Man, this is, uh, you know, too much. You know, you guys need to park, but that's fine. We are all almost here, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we are almost there, okay? okay? Okay, see you in a bit. That thing seems like it could use some power steering fluid or something. Yeah. Man, how are you doing? Doing good. How are you? Man, you guys bring the car from there. Yeah, we come from the bottom down there. It's okay. My directions had led me to somebody else's house. Yeah, no. It, you, you, if you come from that way, it's a little rough. No, we go. You go back down that way. Okay. That's that's smooth down that way. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's hold from a minute. We'll get go together. You know, from this way. Uh, man, you get it's still from the church. All right. It's it's not the church. It's uh, uh, the, those those folks rent those spots that work. It's, it's the church spot. Uh, I feel like that. N no, no, it's it's not. The, the people rent those spots. I rent that one in the morning, but that's yeah, yeah. Whatever, yeah, they rent those spots, and the security guy he runs around, and if if you're in the in the wrong spot, any of those numbered spots are are no go. If you're in Gatlinburg and you're not, we'll follow you, okay. if you're in Gatlinburg and you're not paying to park, you're doing no, no, something I'll wrong, right? <laughs> I paid the parking ticket earlier, you know, for that one, for the parking. But I was entering into that, but it's one time, I don't know. But that's fine. You know? Yeah. Well, you got 29 and 30 this time, so probably whichever one is easier for you to get.
they, those people just came up to us and was like, well, they're towing people, which I saw. But um, we're, we can't fit in any spot because they're like full or something. So that lady told us that that's where we were supposed to park. Absolutely not. You know? cannot park over there. No. Okay, so we will go we'll come back and tell you. They have an overflow lot. Where is and that? And it's over there. They'll have to tell you. They'll have to give you directions to the overflow lot. But it will fit in the overflow lot. Okay. But I'll, yeah, you I'll absolutely cannot park over there. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Good. Good? Thank you. Everything auto. Hi, I believe you have towed a car from the parking spot out here. I was wondering how I go about getting it back. Um, as long as you're the registered owner, um, ID, uh -huh. ID matches that registration, we can release the vehicle to you. Um, In Seaverville. Mm -hmm. Uh... Okay, um, I'll try to get up there here in a little bit. And what was your address again? Uh, if, is this a cell phone number? I can text it to you. Yes. Yeah, it is a cell phone number. Okay. I'll, uh, That'd greatly appreciate it. Yep, I'll text it over. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Hi, guys. Hey. That parking spot sure looked like it belonged to the hotel. <laughs> Before yeah. we found out the hard way. <laughs> Yeah, the security guy roams that lot over there and uh, it gets a lot of folks in trouble. What what happens is the, the lot, they don't have enough parking. They don't have enough yeah, parking. Yeah, they, they don't. Parking. They don't. Well, and the parallel yeah. parking spots were right next and it looked like it was part of the hotel. And he kind of said, what I, I admit, which was my misunderstanding, he said you can't go any further than the fence. So I just thought he so meant the fence on both sides. <laughs> I didn't, yeah. I didn't realize I'm across the road. But. Yeah, they don't. They don't care if they've got enough. They'll sell you a room. They don't care if you oh, got yeah, a place to park. they don't care if they no. don't have parking. Spots. It's uh, yeah. The, yeah, it's crazy. So you are the registered owner, correct? Yes, I am. Okay. Yeah, it was a it was a Saturday nights are really bad over there. Obviously, they booked that hotel just completely. Yeah, I cool mean, and, it was packed. All right. Well, I'm sorry, guys. We had hey. to meet this way. It's all right. Uh, this was day one of our vacation. Oh no. <laughs> There, will you guys try to have a better time, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Here we are on uh, West New Era Road here in Sevierville. We got a gal that says she's off the road. I think I found her. It's like a, I think we've been here several times. Um, not sure if she lives here, if she's a cabin cleaner, but uh, we'll see if we can get her up out of this ditch. It's a mighty big one. We had a gal that was in this one on her side. <clears throat> Down here at the bottom, it's really deep. Up at the top, Turn it's not so bad. West New Era Road. But I bet you this is her. Head north on Gospel Way. GPS says it's on the other side of the road, though, so... In 1,000 feet, make a U-turn. feet you will arrive at your destination I'll probably just end up passing her turning around or I could probably back up there anyway hold tight YouTube Nice big peel outs.
find her now. There you go, Uncle Nathan. There's you a cool, cool old military rig. Why didn't this pull that down there for some off-road recoveries? Hello. Uh, uh, didn't quite make it. Huh? <laughs> you you could have used that thing. What? That military truck up there oh, that your guys. That, <laughs> that thing. That's not ours. <laughs> that's we, our property. About uh, it's just pretty much a few feet on the side of the road is where our property is. <laughs> Everything else belongs to other people. We've been up here several times to this. It's usually gotten a couple folks has been down farther in that ditch on their side there. They've yeah. been way down there. Well, we have actually got this car up, up this hill. Yeah. Just not this time, huh? She only got about this far and yeah. started spinning tires and she backed in and it was night and she just didn't see gotcha. the, 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 where she was. Yeah, I guess if... Uh, we, we tried to get it out of there, but you know, my grandson put that, that you know, wood behind the tire and stuff, but yeah. But it just, every time we tried to go forward, it goes further. Stop, it would, it would back <laughs> right back in, it was just getting closer and closer and the last thing we wanted was a high center. Yeah, that's uh, that's where I got a gal at. She was closer to that telephone pole. I think the last time we were out here, and she was about to tip over. So yeah, yeah that was kind of crazy. We, we're the owners of the <clears throat> property. We use it for uh, rental, vacation rental. Uh huh. And so we tell people, everybody use four wheel drive, all wheel drive. Yeah. You know, and this is not four wheel drive, but we've been. You've, we figured we knew how to drive it to get up here. Yeah. But this time. Are the keys in it? The keys are right here. You got the keys. I just need neutral.
up it from here. Yeah. Uh, um, but I know once we get past this telephone pole, about 20, 30 feet past this pole, uh -huh. it levels out. Okay. Well, you were just walking out, you, you could tell. Yeah. yeah and then once we're there, we'd be fine. You, you want me to pull it up to there? If, if you could. Okay. We, we uh, certainly don't. You want to get it up there. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't know if you wanted it up there. Wanted it up there or not. This, the guy put this new gravel down here. Oh, it's a little oh, thick. Oh. Yeah, it'll have to be some sort of uh, black top or something packed in. I tell you what, if you want to hop in from here and then just put it into to neutral and I'll just back up. Oh. That okay. way it'll be a that'll be a little easier on us i won't have to reset to re-pull again Yeah, just put it into neutral. Put it neutral. Yeah, I've got a hold of you there, so. All right. I believe we can make it from there. do use this for Airbnb okay guys yes heading back down the hill here um, like I said they were doing the rental this is an Airbnb location uh, it's a cool spot we've been here I think this is my fourth time here and that's and then the owners we just met the owners today obviously they're having troubles too but they had paid they paid a company to come up several times and grab all this and it's just not gonna it's just not gonna work they're gonna have to get this section right here at least this section here paved and uh, but they recognized it they said all of their neighbors hate them um, didn't uh, didn't want them to turn this into a vacation rental spot I guess they've had quite the ruckus up here and uh, alarms going off and people people hung up and turning over here so they're gonna have to spend some more money on this road I think but, um, it is a cool spot we are uh, almost to the bottom and on to the next one guys thanks for tagging along all right YouTube welcome back to the channel I've got a few things that I wanted to go through here today uh, really quickly we've got some awesome awesome followers on our channel here um, can't thank you guys enough for I, I've just gotten a ton of goodies and I've not had a chance to say thank you um, so I'm gonna try to go through some of the stuff that you guys have sent us and we're over the moon guys you guys are you guys are awesome so um, this was Steve Steve Arnett um, sent us we actually met up with Steve uh, we had the chance to uh, to catch up with him in town one night and uh, spoke with that guy cool dude um, he sent us some hats um, he's, he's got a, uh, a tractor a tractor and salvage uh, lot there in uh, I believe it was Bruno's chasing the cat um, I believe it was Kentucky. He's in Kentucky I think it was Kentucky yeah um, 
Yeah, so too. But I'm going to get you guys a close up of some hats. He sent us some really cool hats. So if you're ever in the area, in the Kentucky area there, look up Steve if you're needing some uh, some tractor parts or check out his, uh, his salvage lot there. So thank you, Steve. We appreciate that. Also, we've got uh, Chris and Tammy DeGrange. Bruno, what are you doing down there, dude? Um, they sent us, uh, and I opened it once, put it back, but I don't know if I can get it back out of the box here. There we go. Chris and Tammy. Chris and Tammy sent us some cool t-shirts and an awesome note there. Um, thank you guys for the uh, for that. But they got us some t-shirts. How, how cool is that? Uh, the busy ditch. Did I move it away before you no, got a chance? Um, really cool T-shirts. Uh, they said they watched us. Um, they watched us use our machine a couple of times with some projects here and around the house. So, <laughs> and uh, they, they're in the they're in the business to do this. So, hey guys, when we get uh, when we got some more projects, guess what shirt I'm wearing on the old machine? But uh, yes, super cool shirts. Can't thank you guys enough for that. Uh, Chris and Tammy. Hope everyone's uh, having a good uh, after Thanksgiving here. I know we we had a great time. We got a lot of views on our Thanksgiving video. Um, the turkey cooking. We did the trash can turkey. That that's absolutely dish, delicious, guys. If you haven't had a chance to do a trash can turkey, I highly recommend it. Um, we've done it for years. Best way to cook it, in my opinion. You guys can decide for yourself. But check that out. Um, Wade, Wade towing. Um, had a chance to talk to this awesome guy. He's got a huge fleet. Um, I think this guy said he had something like 15 or 20 tow trucks. Um, stopped by for a chat one day. We were out in the shop messing around. Brought us some t-shirts. He brought me a hoodie too. Thanks Wade, I appreciate that. I uh, actually wore one of the hoodies here the other day. And uh, heck yeah, I, I, I'll wear it. I wear it and wore it in the, in the garage there. Kept me warm, but uh, it was great talking to this gentleman. Um, we uh, we shared some stories there. Super cool guy. This one here we've got. Um, this was a while back. Like I said, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just now getting to this. Uh, Mike and Lisa from Louisiana had stopped by and gave us kind of like a little care package here. Let me see if I can get. <laughs> Brought us some really cool, really cool beer. Uh, Purple haze and. Looks like a little lager, a little lager there. But I've not tried the beer. Um, but these, uh, they brought us a little bit of Louisiana up from them here. Um, some chips. Um, they brought that in, Mike and Lisa. There was another bag here, Mike and Lisa, and they were called Voodoo. And I did enjoy those before they made it to the video. So heads up, guys, those were really good. Um, so I'm assuming the rest of these chips are going to be good as well. Um, what else did they send us? Some beignet. They said they couldn't get us fresh, obviously. Um, so they said that uh, this was kind of the next best thing. Um, we're gonna we're gonna cook up some of those and try those. Those come highly recommended from from uh, Mike and Lisa. There. It looks like they got us some. Um, all right, some coffee. Hey, we gotta have coffee to get the day started. So without that towing and recovery doesn't happen. So this will come, I squeeze that bag and that smells really good. I can smell it through the bag. No smell of vision, but that, that stuff smells awesome. We will definitely get a cup of that for our morning or maybe to keep us up for the late night towing. It could be, it could go either way there. So thank you, Mike and Lisa. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. It was a pleasure meeting everybody. Everybody that stops by and sends us all these goodies, I can't thank you guys enough for that. We love hearing the stories. We love seeing the the comments and um, and all of the gear, the gear and goodies. So um, uh, thank you guys for that. Uh, while I've got you here, I don't have COVID pinned down, but um, guys, we were overwhelmed on the response of uh, of happy birthday. So if I will get him, I will get him on this video. I'll pin him down here. We're, we're running around he's a little busy back and forth uh, but I will give him uh, I'll get him back here on video saying thank you for all of the happy birthday wishes that was overwhelming and he was he was excited about that and we were excited as well so um, thank you guys for the birthday wishes thank you guys for the goodies I think I've covered everything and we're we're on our way out Bruno's prancing across the floor so 
we're off and on our way to the next tow. Thanks for watching, guys.